so in Form 1 you wrote your first yeah. book called yeah. Flourish. Flourish. While we were sleeping, <laughs> personally, we, mimi nilikuwa napenda githeri by then. <laughs> yes, unaweza tuonyesha tu. You can just hold it in your hand. You in Form 1. Yeah. Hello everybody, welcome to Sanana Mitindo. We're here for yet another episode where we are starting a new series on authors and writers. And today in the building, I have an amazing guest. He's one of the youngest writers I know. And today we will be hearing his story. Manze aliandika kitabu yake ya kwanza kiwa Form 1. What were you doing in Form 1? Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to invite the one and only Ezra MK, Baba, Karibu Sana Ba Show. Sante, thank I'm you so much. I'm so excited to be having you on the show. Sante Sana. Hey. Yeah. Yes. So you can introduce yourself. Maybe someone is watching this wow. show for the very first time and doesn't know who Ezra is. Wow. As you introduce on your camera. Yeah, my name is Ezra uh-huh. MK. I'm uh-huh. a 19 year old. Uh-huh. I'm a student at a Presbyterian University of East Africa, uh-huh. uh, year 3.2. Uh, getting to join for the year, uh-huh. um, taking education, English literature. Uh-huh. By the grace of God, I'm an author. I'm uh-huh. an amazing book called Flourish. I've written three other books, but I've not finished them. Ish. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm also a corporate speaker. Uh-huh. That's what we are doing. We are trying to live a life and changing lives. Amazing, amazing. I'm so excited for this show. I had already talked to you yeah. some time back, Kidogo, uh-huh. but I have seen whatever content you post on your social media platforms, mm-hmm. and there's so many young people who are just sitting around and not doing anything. And I love what you do, basically. Yeah. So you can tell us, where did your journey start? Wow. Or did you always know you're a writer? Did you always have it in you uh, that you're a writer? Where were you born and stuff? Wow, 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 mm. wow. wow. It's a difficult question because mm. I can't really, I always mm. tell people, I can't really tell uh, the exact date. I'm mm. day in Lijua, I'm a day in I grew up in it. My dad is a pastor, and uh, before he would speak at places, he would uh, say, I've walked with my son, let him say hi. Little did he know that uh, he was cultivating and building me in it. Oh, so nice. I've grown up in it. Mm. I've just got founded in it. I found myself doing it. Yeah, so in Lipofika Form 1, uh, I learned at St. Joseph's Boys, Kitale. Mm-hmm. Lipofika Form 1, I, I found a lot of time in high school, Sika Class 8, Makazio and everything. Mm-hmm. And I said, let me do it. I started by writing articles and mm-hmm. putting it on notice board, Shile, and everything. There are articles here called Plif to say. So, mm-hmm. and uh, one day I was like, why should I not put it in a book? I should do it in a book. Mm. So I started the journey of flourishing. I started writing the book Flourish. Nice. Yeah. So you can dig the rough scale of the book and everything. Uh-huh. Think of one. Uh-huh. But God mysteriously I find your book is released in one 2017, 2018, Apana. Mpaka ni kamaliza form 4. Mm. And I stayed for one whole year after form 4. Nice. Nika release book at, nice. at 19 last year. Shikilia yeah. hapo kwanza. I wanted to take us back to primary. Mm-hmm. Uniso me wapi primary. So, Where yeah. did you grow wow, up? Wow, wow. I come from yes. Tarbo, Wasingishu County. Tarbo? Yeah. Now okay. that we are heading to elections, close uh-huh. to Sobo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I come from Tarbo. Niso me shile nito Beshabor, primary school. Beshabor? Yeah. Eh, kweli ni tantrista? Eh, eh. Oh, kale. Oh, nice, nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's an amazing uh-huh. school. It is in Tarbo. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why I schooled in. In primary. Yeah. And primary then after that, you and the St. Saint Joseph's boys uh-huh. in Tarbo. Uh-huh. And now to Nairobi Presbyterian University. Okay. Yeah. How was life in primary? Yeah. Pole pole, no pressure, bro. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> how was life in primary? Uh, was... Did you always speak in uh, in well, the public at at that young age? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My my life has been amazing in a way that maybe nearly kwam se lukwam. I can't tell you that I was. That kid doing a while mm. Molly Monga to me a guy example or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would lead guys in making noisemakers, but teachers would come and say, I know Ezra cannot make noise. Ouch. So I, <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, that, that is the kind of my life. So for class one to three, I was a bit cheeky. In fact, I look at my report cards mm. and I on number 40 out of 43. Your out of class, yeah. Mm. So in class three, that things happened mysteriously. Mm. I got quite transferred to a school called uh, Brook of Faith Academy. Mm-hmm. It's a children's home. Can talk so many. Well, I to one of us. Put a lot. It also taught me a lot during mm. that time. Yeah. So in a grown now by class five, mm-hmm. I was made the school head boy. Okay. Head boy class five. Class five. Kwa shule ni kwenye Africa class eight. Wow. Yeah. So that mm-hmm. is where it all began. So wow. that is where now I would now speak in front of people uh-huh. daily to the evening devotions. I would preach to them. Mm. Yeah, and God did it. Class mm. five, six, seven, and then class eight, I now went to back to 
blessing in Zambia be shabor kusomasa the final year of my study in primary school so in form 1 you wrote your first yeah. book called yeah. flourish, flourish yeah. yes unaweza tuonyesha tu you can just hold it in your hand you in form 1 yeah while we were sleeping yeah. personally we mimi nilikuwa napenda githeri by then <laughs> in the high school you while umesema high school it was st joseph st joseph high school mm-hmm. okay so you got to write your book so mm-hmm. did you release it immediately what happened wow mm-hmm. so in, in form one mm-hmm. imeandika book mm-hmm. kuna content yes unajua god aisee kupatia kila kitu uh-huh. that's why we tell people there is no right time to do anything because mm-hmm. something must always, must always be wrong because your time nilikuwa na time resource Okay. Niko na content, niko na resource mwenye nishani yeah, kabuk yeah. but sana niko na kosa financial resource. Mm-hmm. My dad and mom were a bit reluctant to mm-hmm. you know, support there, yeah, support. Mm-hmm. In fact, our journey support na mambo nafanya. Yo okay. yeah, like, I can at least have built myself from the ground. Okay. Yeah, so for more I've written a book. I now write it because niko na I need kuniko nimeandika kwa some hard cover book, mm-hmm. kwa hard cover. Mm-hmm. I I was really thinking about writing secular novels but okay. God rescued me through the Christian Union chair person because the ones came up at any man and be a kijana or any fiction because uh, I used to write fictional stuff even to today I can oh. you can wake me in the middle of the night I really I can write about love stories fantasy and everything mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, so I was like Yeah do something that can change people's life because mm-hmm. it's not enough for do some not not enough for you to carry a vision it yes. should be a vision that carries god in it and changes lives yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. nimeandika book for one mm-hmm. sina content so from one from two from three siku ana resource and everything mm-hmm. so nimeika at a halt mm-hmm. so i think uh, i recently came to talk, to teach myself that god was waiting for me to flourish first oh nice before i mm-hmm. come and help people to flourish because mm-hmm. siko nime flourish hakuna kitu ningekupatia as evidence ya kwamba mimi nime flourish ndio wewe uone ha doi hapo sawa niko sawa yeah so after from four now i'm out here sasa mm-hmm. nimekuja nairobi sasa nimetoka mm-hmm. mm-hmm. hawa jamii ni sijai toka ld mm-hmm. in fact that was jai kuja nairobi it was my wow. first time to hawa and everything wow. so nimekuja nairobi saa kusoma mm-hmm. and i i now i have to do the book Mm. So I had, I was saving money from from 3 because I knew I wanted to do it so from from 3 yeah, from 3 you were saving I was clear about it Atta I get no money in it yeah <laughs> quite clear in fact I used to save I remember 200 shillings every week wow. where that the part I must have part and I keep part next week 400 yeah. like I last week not this week I was very intentional in this is what I was doing you I have not doubt do about this. it yeah. I had to do it so mm. nime save money kutoka form 3 help ikakuja you know mm. campus complex mm. couple help gonna mm. help about 28k nime save pia mm-hmm. so it was amounting to around 35k mm. to 40k okay. now another problem comes in again mm. i don't know how to do it sina hakuna mm. msaya kombele yangu anaweza ni guide yes. wale wase wako anakaa big ya wezi wa approach mm. na hata yes. ukiwa approach kitambo wapate assess ni ngumu sana kwa exactly. such people mm. yeah so niko na book niko na do Mm. Nikasema let me do it my own. I think I can do it. Mm. So kind of after publishers. Trust mm. me I want to 11 publishers trying oh. to publish my book. Four in Eldoret, two in Nakuru and the rest here in Nairobi. Trying to publish my book. Watu walikata, walikata. Cuz wanaona wewe ni young. Mm. Na unajua nilikuwa nime beat. Nyoa hizi zilikuwa kidogo. <laughs> si si kasa hii kidogo nime. Nayo imetosha kidogo. Hata hivyo nilikuwa nime beat. Sikuwa na evidence ya kuonyesha umse anaweza piga hiki kitu fit there is greatness in you yeah it so don't look like I, it i kwa inaonekana yeah. yeah. some publisher in town let me tell you this story because yeah. it's interesting tell me, I, tell I really me, told god the day book itatoka mimi tell us the same. Tell so us. some publisher hapa kanairo tao uh-huh. alineka kwa room kai hii uh-huh. kanieka ndani ya room akafunga uh-huh. mlango uh-huh. akachukua lapi yake nimemtumia soft copy ya book hii book ni 50 pages kidogo uh-huh. sana uh-huh. na akaniambia are you sure this book is yours because the content in it is too huge for your person like you to write oh i really wanted to tell him i have written this book four years ago when i was young na sijaongeza kitu yote wala kutoa kitu yote but i kept quiet kwa sasa angejua sikia. Yeah, so he told me recite chapter 1. Mm. I recited. Even right now I can recite because mm. it's my book I wrote it. Mm. Something that was bad mm. me. So ni kama recite hadi mwisho. Hakuamini mm. but pia hakunisaidia ku publish book. <laughs> so it's been a, it's been a journey. Mm. And one last story about during this time. I'm saying mm. this because kuna wase yangu kwa nje. Wako na kila know. kitu. They need to. Uko na kila kitu lakini yes. kuna vitu zingine tunapitia ambazo. Mm. Yeah. Pia society imetweka chini. Mm-hmm. So I went to some publisher the, the tenth publisher I okay. went very well. Mm-hmm. Now I went there with money. Kwa kwa Mpesa vizuri and everything. Mm-hmm. So I've uh, tumeenda tukutana hapa Pronto restaurant I think in town. Mm-hmm. Like close to Hilton hapo. Mm-hmm. So tumeka chini Pronto akaniambia 
everything details ni sharp at ISBN code and everything so the only thing was looking for the publisher to a book mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. nimekana eh hiyo place mm-hmm. aka akaanza kusoma the synopsis and everything and it's an amazing book he was some official corporate guy wow yeah so and then he told me let's do it I told him yeah let's do it man <laughs> <laughs> so he come to me and akaniambia kwanza we'll do how many copies you want I was like yeah this copies we decided mm-hmm. the amount and everything mm-hmm. so statistics so and everything was set and then sasa time ya kumlipa akaniambia pay me half of the money mm-hmm. i told him no i'll pay you all of them because i have them mm-hmm. kama niko nazo mbona nisikupatie sahi mm-hmm. so i gave him close to 40000 shillings i oh, sent sh- through his phone mm-hmm. and the guy disappeared in the evening his phone was off what? i've never reached him to today how do you recover from that I how went, did you recover wow. from that i went in the evening <laughs> so in the evening something hit me uh, there is no hakuna mtu ame witness yeah. sijaenda kwa ofisi yake mm. i was like let me call him to check up on him and tell him blah blah his phone was off no the second day it's still off and it has gone off to today Which i slept in my room shule for two weeks i survived in elefo diko kwa nyumba because how old are you by, by, by was, that time i was 18, 18. i just turned 19 so last, last year, year. Yeah, last year uh, this year september 9 i'm turning 20 okay yeah so it was last year I was still young mm. i called some guys people mm. that i considered mentors i told them ni meko ni wado ya book and everything ini don ilikuwa ni amesave na machungu and everything it was so heavy for me mm. and uh, guys wanga niambia when you jinga you know mm. that 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 language people will not understand people will not understand what are you saying yeah, you I give really someone like, 40 I, I, it took me it took, it took me close to three months to recover Jeez. i deleted the the soft copy of book any evidence nilikuwa na kumbuka nilitoka kwa nyumba nikazichoma like let this thing go i'm not doing this thing again wacha mm. iende 40k mimi ningekuwa nimebuy vitu zingine au mimi nje nikakuwa nimebuy phone ningekuwa nimebuy vitu zingine so it has gone and everything mm. but it took it took uh, benny you hosted benny here. yes i've hosted benny benny hino yeah. bengo is my mentor in a way that kuna challenges me experience mm. i i'm revealing him for him a secret yeah yeah hazy like he just calls na ile time ana call na kuanga kwa shida mm. yeah so he called me during my bad Mm. and he told me I'm okay you're turning 19 i wrote my book at 19 you're doing your book at 19 so wake up do the social media piga shughuli mm. that is what it took and i was like i'm back <laughs> yeah so and then i released the book get... on january this year now january did the launch of the book uh-huh. yeah. where, 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 where did the launch happen npn the legacy church oh, nice, yeah. nice 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 yeah. this is this is really good mm-hmm. personally i would i need to get a copy of it Asante. but can you just uh, wow. for the audience uh-huh. purposes uh-huh. at least to understand <laughs> what is flourish all wow. about you flourish. can tell us a bit about flourish it. yes ni flower Mm-hmm. flower before it was flower like was beautiful mm-hmm. inatokea stages flani mm-hmm. ni kama human beings before mm-hmm. you become a man kuna place unatokea as a boy you cannot mm-hmm. become a man if you've not gone through the boyish stage wezi kwa mwanaume kwa jaiche za bano wezi kwa mwanaume kwa jaienda hapo hizo games zote za watu hii wezi kwa mwanaume kwa jafanya hizo vitu zote so it's a journey joseph kitambo aende kwa pale alikuwa amepitia places nne alikuwa amepitia kwa pit akaenda kwa potifa akakoto kwa potifa akaenda prison na akafikishwa palace so flourish is a journey of you flourishing hapa kwa cover kuna a girl Mm. and like a dem significantly mm. there is something an event that happened here yeah, that's a story of another day i was at broken at during that time nilikuwa nimeingia kwa mapenzi kishenzi watoto so i was at broken and it changed my perspective about yes. girls yes. i hated girls mm-hmm. like for that is i'm so mm. honest with myself mm. like you not tell me anything about girls mm. so for ile like god told me you have to do something like it renew my mind and everything so this is a woman <laughs> that is here yeah, yeah. yeah. and she has that been, woman yeah <laughs> <laughs> and there are chains on this other side uh-huh. this woman has been bound with chains okay and then there is slight here mm. so this woman is trying to break forth from the chains mm-hmm. this woman is trying to unleash the potential flourish and unleashing your potential how mm. do you unleash a sword that mm. sword you make up mm. so I just want to unleash mm. you don't unleash the sword on your body you mm. unleash it so mm. she's trying to break forth from the chains So I'm guiding you through a journey of breaking forth from okay. your chains. Mm-hmm. This book is secular and it is Christian. Mm-hmm. Each chapter in the book in aku guide on the God perspective of it and the secular perspective of it. Okay. So it's not only for the Christians so or it can it, it can, can it covers it covers everyone. Every it covers everyone. Mm. And in the end in fact I lead you into Christ. So mm. it's a journey of faith. Mm. We see that hope is a goal setter while faith is a goal getter. You mm. use hope to set your goals, mm. but you use faith it takes faith so that you can move to greatness mm. success they say that it's not a destination 
but it is a journey. And this journey is a journey of faith. So flourish is a journey of faith. So I took F A I T H. That's a book of flourish. Oh. Five things mm-hmm. that you need in life, or five things that you should check at this time in life. The time is now mm-hmm. for you to flourish in the next five years. Nice. So it's a journey of flourishing. Mm-hmm. So the first chapter talks about foundations. So mm-hmm. there are five things you should check mm-hmm. if you want to flourish. The first one is foundations. Mm-hmm. The second one is associations, inspiration, thoughts, and your heart. That's mm-hmm. flourish. If you okay. check on those five things, mm. you will flourish. In anything that you want to do. Yeah. Foundations. Foundations. Apropos foundations. Yeah, wow. Foundations. Very important. Mm-hmm. Foundations. Because sometimes people mm-hmm. don't ground themselves well. And when a building is not grounded, kidogo in a Yeah, wow. Uh, so, foundations. Mm. Deep color than to deep. Mm. Shallow color than to shallow. Mm. If you want to go high, you have mm. to begin deep. Mm. You can't compare buildings a gorofa foundations when it's in building buildings a gorofa and a mm. building zingine zote. Yet mm. gorofa ilianzia chini but in enda juu. Mm. The tallest building in the world in Etobu Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa. Yeah, it mm. took it's some up, years yeah. eco Dubai or something. Okay, it yes. took some years it took 4 years of 66 six years to jenga foundation peke yake but it only took Ouch. 2 years to jenga huko shit. shit. <laughs> so oh foundations are important mm. for anyone in life. Mm. Now chapter one your foundation yangu inongelea just get grounded in what you want to do. Mm. Identify your purpose. Biblia inasema kwamba before I formed you in your mother's womb I knew you. Mm. Ini kitu God alikuwa anashajua hata mm. before uzaliwe. Mm. Wewe msi baraka God alikuwa anajua utakuwa unafanya hiki kitu unafanya sasa yeah. before uzaliwe. Yeah. So unazaliwa mm. si kitu utaitafuta uko nayo tayari. It's already in it's you. It's already in you. Mm. So it's you to unleash it. Mm. <laughs> so foundations ni identify just identify what you want to do and mm. take action. Two mm. things chapter 1. Mm. So taking actions in a way that just do it. Mm. I always tell people, stop thinking about it. Yes. Stop writing about it. Mm. Some people dream. Others dream, 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 dream. Do it. Others dream for too long. Others mm. dream and wake up to chase their dreams. Others mm. dream and keep sleeping mm. and slumber. Ouch. So, Ouch. just wake up and do it. Stop mm. thinking about it. When you think about it, in a create perceptions. Okay, think about it in a, in a fanyanga vitu mbili. Mm. In a create perceptions about kitu nita kufanya. Mm-hmm. How should I do in a create doubt? Mm. And then number two, you create distractions. Mm. Unaanza kuwa distracted. So as a young person, that is why tunasemanga success is bounded with time. But greatness is not bounded with time. Utapata mse ako 50 years, ako na do yote hii dunia, but ana peace na ana greatness. Mm. Akuna mse, kuna wasi wengine wamezaliwa, mm. at 12, kuna mse at 12, sijua mm. nitonani, I've forgotten the name, US, ali come up na a cure mm. ya disease, ya pancreatic cancer, Jesus. at 12 years. At 12, at 12 years. years. That is what is greatness is. Greatness like within our age. So mm. minambi, I'm saying whether you are 15, whether you are 20, whether you are 25, you can be great. Mm. Success Kenya tumefunzwa Maliza Kampo. Mm. And at, at Maliza Kampo, uh, tafta kakazi hivi ka job, TSE kawe ni mwalimu, tafta ka job ka nurse, mm. tafta job, e bure and shak, hao hapa Nairobi, kanairo ama kata oflani, alafu jenga keja flani home, mm. alafu kimaliza hiyo kiyo noko financially stable, enda find a wife, kisha pata mw, Bibi who went over introduce who fanya Rusi and then after that we relax part out of your kill yonder success. Mm. But that is not success. You can be successful, but you're not great. Yes. So greatness in our Zangana ile point ya ku take action. So mm. chapter one ni about taking action. Mm. And then chapter two ni about associations. Mm. Una associate na nani? Mm. Umeka na nani? Mm. You, that is just normal. Mm. Una jowa se wengi tuna jidanganya sana na mambogi. Wase young. This book talks to young people. Mm. Tuna jidanganya sana na mambogi niko na wewe niko pamoja <laughs> the crowd ni mimi na wewe tukinda mm. time mm. tunasahau that atukuzaliwa na umse na tradedi na umse is mm. decisions tunafanya na watu tuna associate na watu usema kwamba your associations determine your connections mm. don't be cheated even the bible says that do not be cheated Mm. Bad company ruins good morals. It yes. is true. Mm. It is tangible. We mm. can see with people who are great and associated with failures, they became failures. Mm. If you're associating with three fools, you are the fourth fool. Ouch. Don't look for any other fool. Mm. So it is the people you associate with. Doa maana sana kwa jani yako. Kama, you only need two great friends. Mm-hmm. You only need two great friends and you'll achieve much in life than 30 fake friends. Unetaji tu asewa will really kwa life yako. Ndo achieve. Mm. Awitaji, awitaji wase 50 as wase 10. Mm. Mimi ni nataka wase wangapi? Wa wili. Na tunaweza fanya kitu yote hii dunia. Mm. So, uko na nani? Mm. And then also chapter 2 ikiendelea uko mwisho. Mm. I'm asking people that. Unajua mwaka ikianza. Mm. I, I hope you also are a victim of being cut off. 
because I'm a victim. Hii mm. mwaka ikianza wasema alikuwa na cut off people. It's a year of cutting off people. Tuchop wase, tuchop wase. Nilikuwa nashangaa nilikuwa naona status ya msee sahi sioni tena kwa hii kunienda. So umekuwa cut off. So huko mwisho naongelea that yeah. as much as tuna complain about bad friends, yeah. as much as tunataka kuwa na good friends. Am I a good friend to someone? Mm-hmm. So you're under chapter 2. Mm-hmm. And then chapter 3 is inspirations. inspirations. How inspired are you? Mm-hmm. Yo ni system ya kila siku day ukiamka asubuhi. Mimi mm-hmm. mm-hmm. wambia si alarm inakuamsha asubuhi. Mm-hmm. Ni how inspired are you? Ni nini na drive asubuhi ukiamka? Mm-hmm. So asubuhi inspirations in a way that Mark Twain said that it is not the size of the dog in the fight that matters, mm-hmm. but it is the size of the fight mm-hmm. in the dog. Eish. So it is the size the size of the fight in the, the dog. dog. Oh yeah. nice. So mm-hmm. it is important with what inspires you. Mm-hmm. Take your ins- inspirations. Ni nini nakufanya ufanye hiki today? Yes. Hata hizo vitu ndogo ndogo. Like wewe uki ukiwa unajua mimi wambia wasi usingoje ile day wameanza ku date, wameanza ku date ndo upelekwe out kwa ile manzi. Chipeleke out. Take yourself out. Usingoje buy your wig. Sijui usingoje buy your hizo vitu zingine. Wewe jibai ile manzi. Jibaiye angajiangalie kwa mira na useme yeah. ah manze mimi yeah. natipenda if you achieve anything in your life you'll come and set kwa goals yeah. wewe hakikisha unapiga sherehe yes if you achieve anything hata kan kidogo aje yeah. jibaiye njugu manze ama maji basi ukuni <laughs> that is hiyo ndio ita ku drive nishukuru yes. saa zingine yeah. ni poa kujipiga mwili pole because pole. life is yeah. all about being happy if yes. you wait to <laughs> happiness iko created na mse mwingine hautaipata so weji weji shukuru man asubuhi amka jipende say yeah. wow i love myself and i knew i can do it i did it yesterday mm. do you know you are 27 or you are 26 mm. umefikisha 26 years mm. 26 years yeah. do you, you know how many celebrate people celebrate yourself uko kampo umefika campus si kila mtu anaenda campus 143000 walienda campus last year out of almost 800k mm. manze jishukuru mm-hmm. celebrate your small success nice. and then chapter 4 nice. wow. because of my director najua watu uh, wanunue kitabu uh, ukiwachambulia uh, yote hawata <laughs> hawata nunua mm-hmm. let's wrap up the show with this one what cuts you out from the rest of the writers wow. i know there are so many writers mm-hmm, out mm-hmm, here mm-hmm. so what would you say is the, is your style wow. of writing or what separates you from the rest what can distinguish you from the rest of the writers Barack, we are, we are mm-hmm. in the 21st century. Yes. Na 21st century tuko na information kila mahali. Mm-hmm. If one unauliza anga kila kitu Google. Yes. Hadi unaweza uliza what is not in Google. Like everything is in your phone right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. That is information. Mm-hmm. Generation yetu iko na information. Mm-hmm. Generation yetu iko na wasi wako na akili wanaweza fikiria na wanaweza ongea, mm-hmm. wanaweza invent vitu. Mm-hmm. Lakini generation yetu haina wisdom. Tunasema that knowledge is power. Mm-hmm. But I see that wisdom is the ability to apply that power in the right way. Mm-hmm. Wasi wengi wako na power their own fingertips mm-hmm. lakini hawezi apply in the right way mm-hmm. msee ako na ideas za mm-hmm. kufanya vitu great kwa mm-hmm. country mm-hmm. lakini ana hiyo power mm-hmm. ya ku apply hiyo idea kwa the right way mm-hmm. so mimi na come out in a way that I'm different that I pack my information differently in a way that nakupatia things zenye zinaonekana yes. and then mimi i believe that god cannot leave a generation like that mm-hmm. generation yetu watasema ni wasema mabash mm-hmm. generation yetu watasema ni wasema kishada mm-hmm. generation yetu watasema ni wasema kupiga pombe mm-hmm. generation yetu watasema ni immorality mm-hmm. but pia god ana race wasi wengine kuja kwa kukam na kukam counter god cannot leave a generation like that he mm-hmm. must raise someone mm-hmm. so i believe i'm a voice in this generation in a way that naongea na wasi facts real mm-hmm. ukisoma hii book mm-hmm. book ina kuchukua about 30 minutes please kudanganya but yeah 30 minutes usha maliza hii book wanasema if you want to write something from a kenyan put it in the book lakini mimi nimeka hapa jinajua like look at the size of it that is why said hakuna kitu different i bring the same information watu wako wameko wakisema but in a different way like i'm writing and my second book na release in two months time in two months time yeah inaitwa naked it's a relationship with inviters in the launch or later launch for the kai interview yeah so naked ni naked ni na na ku lead kwa like i want to put things naked mm-hmm. in that that tumeficha for too long mm-hmm. yet abortions zinaendelea mm-hmm. tumeficha for too long yet wase wengi wana die because of immorality mm-hmm. destinies nyingi zinafungwa juu immorality and such things mm-hmm. so now i want to put it naked in a way that mm-hmm. e relationships it's called naked so eh, for the rest of my life mm-hmm. so long as i'm living mm-hmm. i'll never write anything Mm. apart from flourishing so i'll write naked flourishing in relationships mm. another one is called pain flourishing in pain mm. 
if you don't see this young oh, nice, nice. so I'm, it's my life is all about flourishing making sure that people flourish in every yeah. aspect, aspect relationships yeah a business and yeah. stuff yeah. so you should expect we are more creating books the capacity from you yeah more books okay this is what i was called to do this mm. is what i do this i love i love what i do this is really amazing yeah. i am really inspired by your story so, i can't wait to see are you in two months yeah. or three months yeah. to see what you what will have mm-hmm. become of you yeah. so basically to kill up up show because of time mm-hmm. uh, i just want us to do a pop quiz mm-hmm. uh, you look very serious yet you're very young okay <laughs> you are very serious yet very young is do you only enjoy writing is that the only thing you do or do you have other things that you do that that are fun you know what one is a kwa one is a one to kill boys a cousins a Ezra mk you boys and a konga msiri eh so tell us about yourself do do you have other things that you do that you enjoy doing wow Quite expect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a many other young person. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mini mini leader. Uh-huh. I'm vying for school presidency. Hey, sh- congratulations! Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm sure I'm winning. Uh-huh. Uh, so now we're going to say, "Mini, we're going to say, 'Oh, mini, social.' This so is you're very very social. I'm going to say, 'Kuna isa idiangu kikuza uko inze ulibaja uta alafu ni anze kuonge kuna places ni menda na wase to make a chini ko audience. Then I'm called to talk and I'm talking guys like." When we go up, ma, like ah. that is me. So yeah. many young person. Yeah. I watch movies. Yeah. I go out with friends. Yeah. I do every other thing young yeah. people do out there. Yeah. yeah. Are you still single? Yeah, I'm single. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> There is hope for you. Bad so let's do a pop quiz. Pop quiz. Your favorite food? Kuku. Yeah. Kuku na nini? Ikiwa tu hiyo peke yake. Hivyo tu. Hata baada ya hiyo jioni lazima njikuta. Sawa sawa. Favorite gospel artist in Kenya. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel. Big up. Uh, favorite mobile phone application. You know what me as in this season. <sighs> Facebook. Uh, yes. I Next. Ah uh, okay. Hope you mesha tuambia. Favorite book. Yaani umesoma now that you're a writer. Wow. Kitabu gani umechambua cuz yaani unaweza recommendia watu yaani maybe sio yako. Ya yeah, Miles Monroe. Eh uh-huh. which one? It's called it's called Identifying Your Purpose. Identifying Your Purpose by Miles, Miles Monroe. Monroe. Yeah. Oh nice. Favorite pet. And have you ever had a pet? Hi. Uh-huh. Natoka ushago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. Uh-huh. But, but I like dogs. You like dogs. Yeah, na penda yeah. nature dogs. Yeah. They are created now. Kuna venye god alizi create. Yeah. Na kuna lessons naweza jifunza from a dog. Yeah. Why it is different from a sheep and everything. Yeah. And uh, as I to see that uko. Okay. So what else do okay, you have already told us about yourself and everything. Mm-hmm. So where can we find you on social wow. media if someone needs your book? Mm-hmm. A copy. Of, well, how much does it go for? It goes for 400 shillings. Only 400 shillings. Only 400 shillings. Okay. Yeah. So where can people find you to get your books and maybe wow. uh, your your talks? Yeah, well, that. Yes. I'm across my social media platforms. Mm. Ni Ezra MK Kilamali. YouTube, Ezra MK. Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Mm. Ezra MK Kilamali. Mm. Yeah. I'm a very social person. Mm. Like on in box FB to Tonga. Mm. Oh, nice. Nice. Give me those talks we do it. Oh. Justice. Do nice, it. nice, nice. Parting shot. Yako. You can just say it directly to the camera. Wow. Just tell say your parting shot maybe to the young people and stuff and maybe you can pick up a few of your friends. Oh, wow. Yes. That camera. Yeah. Yes. So, time is moving. Mm. Time inaenda. Mm-hmm. Jana imeenda, mm-hmm. leo iko inaenda na kesho iko inaenda. Si unategemea na ni nini unafanya sasa hivi. Mm-hmm. Ukitaka kujua difference ya life yako in the next five years, angalia uko unafanya nini sasa hivi. Ka hakuna kitu unafanya ya maana sasa hivi, then utabaki hivyo milele. Time is going. Time cannot ensure, time cannot ensure. We cannot replicate time, we cannot buy time, we cannot sell time. We only do one thing to time. We spend time. If you spend time doing nothing, then nothing will come. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Are you not picking up anyone? Oh, Do you have a friend? Anyone? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> my friends, uh, yeah. God, hello. Mm. John and my mom and dad, my mm. bro. Mm. I see he's now better sana. Mm. These guys have been amazing. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming Asante to the show. Sana. I'm really grateful. Asante. We can't wait to be having you here in another amazing episode. Asante sana. Yes, our son. So yeah. that was all from us here. We had the one and only Ezra MK, the best one of the best writers and youngest writers we have in this nation of Kenya so see you next wednesday at 8 pm on another amazing show from me barack arius